A lot of stocks hitting 52 week highs and new highs. Petronet LNG has been buzzing off late and is just a few points away from its 52 week high of 441. Brokerages too are positive on the outlook. RK Garg, the director of finance at Petronet LNG, joins us now with a quick outlook on what FY18 could look like. Mr. Garg, good morning and thanks for joining us. Let's start off by talking about demand because it has been extremely strong for you, especially in the fiscal gone by. What is the expectation as far as the hedge volumes are concerned for FY18? You see, that, uh, the demand of uh, LNG in the country is growing year by year. We had seen in the past. And uh, as far as uh, uh, haze terminal is concerned, that's operating normally at its nameplate capacity or sometimes in above the nameplate capacity. During the year 1960 calendar year, the overall LNG consumed in the country was around 19 million tons. Mm. And majority of that, I mean, say major part of that has come to the haze terminal. Okay. And and same thing I think we are seeing going forward at our base. So you're yeah. saying that in FY17 your volume was 19 million tons? No, I'm not telling that. 19 million tons was imported totally in the country. Okay, okay. And okay. out of quite major quantity has come to our terminal mm. in addition to other terminals operating in the country. You know, because the going uh, expectation in the street is that for FY18 you would do 17 MMMTA. Uh, uh, is that I'm a reasonable? I'm not sure. I'm is that reasonable? Sure. I'm not sure because we are we are currently 15 million ton uh, LNG terminal okay. and we are expanding to 17.5 which okay. construction is on. Okay. So it may take uh, around two years more to complete. Oh, two years, so not FI18. Yeah. Are, yeah. are we looking at a tariff increase anytime soon? No, we have uh, the normal tariff. It is uh, already agreed and uh, it keeps uh, some marginal increase every year. It happens as per the contractual provision. So that we keep uh, around 5% increase. I think. Okay. Uh, what's the demand growth or volume growth you are expecting in 18 and 19? I think uh, the way the economy is growing and natural gas demand is also growing in the country. Mm. And we have limited availability of the domestic gas during this period. Yeah. So I hope that we'll have some more demand of LNG in the country. And uh, that would be uh, our Dahe terminal as well as our Kochi terminal, which is today is not operating at, at the level it is mm. desired. So some demand would be there. Yeah. Okay, actually I was going to come to Kochi. What's the update on the pipeline? Uh, has it progressed beyond Kochi itself? Yeah, the already I think construction is on and Gail has awarded few more uh, uh, work for certain segments towards Mangalore, mm. from Kochi to Mangalore. And we are quite hopeful that uh, the things are going quite perfect. So uh, when should the pipeline be ready, sir? The one to Mangalore? Uh, very difficult to give the exact date, but uh, we are quite hopeful, I think, that um, in the near future. I will not be able to give you a date when it's going to happen. Okay. Will all of these triggers put together help you take your overall margins to double digits? I mean, it's almost at 10% now, but are we looking at higher margins in the quarters to come? Uh, I'll not give any numbers. I think the quarter uh, is yet to, financial yet to be declared. So you see that whenever the financial declared, then you pay numbers. No, but overall, are you looking at more margin expansion? I don't want any numbers, but just the trend. I think trend is uh, quite okay. So let's see. But any pressure to declare a large dividend? Uh, I think we'll go by our dividend policy, which is already on our website, which is approved by the board. Mm. And uh, we'll see that. So similar to last year, you think, or better? Uh, I think when the financial results are declared, then, okay. then the board will take it on. Of course, that's true. Uh, any uh, Anything you heard from your uh, owner, I mean shareholder, other than the government, that is NG, are uh, are they looking to sell and when, uh, any 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 details at all? Uh, no, as far as we are concerned, we have uh, been informed by NG that they have requested our brokers who are the other shareholders, uh, their uh, uh, desire of... Uh, exit because they have been in, uh, remains with the invested with the company for the last 15 years 15, 16 years so i think the things are being discussed by the shareholders and company has nothing to do with that so that's okay. Okay. of course i take your point uh, sir yeah. since you are one of the experts uh, the veterans in this field what is your sense about gas price at all uh, we were uh, all given to understand that the eastern seaboard uh, is likely to see cheaper gas prices with uh, uh, the Australian uh, uh, output increasing with each passing year. What's your forecast on gas prices itself, especially in the eastern seaboard? Uh, I'll only take it like this. In, in, the, in the global market, that more and more liquefaction terminals are getting commission. 
uh, not in the traditional suppliers market, but like in US, Australia, as well as in other parts of the world. Mm. And more and more supply is likely uh, would be there, and which will be an advantage to the buyer's country. And we are seeing the spot prices are currently quite attractive. Okay. So we hope that would continue for a few years. Okay, Mr. Garg, all the best for the future. Thank you so much for stopping by and uh, speaking to us about the.